Jeremy Hemsley grew up in Rancho Cucamonga. His is a very close family, and a bond with his father inspired Jeremy's love of basketball. I feel like my childhood was just like any other kids. I was really close with my family. It was, it was just us. That's all I really knew was my family. Being in first, second grade, I remember my dad would tell me, you don't really love basketball unless you sleep on with it every night. So I would always try to sleep with the basketball right next to me just to show my dad that I really wanted it. Having my dad being the one that believed in me more than anybody is just all those things helped me just fall in love with it. Early on, basketball became more than just a game for Jeremy because he knew that it may be his only path to college. In third grade, my mom told me I had to get a college scholarship because um, they weren't going to be able to pay for college, so that was always in the back of my mind. After my freshman year of high school, I remember being in my room just like I was crying. I was sad because all my other friends that were on the same travel team as me, they were getting offers from colleges, and I was the only one who hadn't got an offer yet. So. I remember just, just praying. I was like, God, please, like, whatever I got to do, just, 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 just let me do it. Jeremy wouldn't have to wait long for his prayers to be answered. I couldn't shoot in high school. I had an awful jumper, and I started out the game with, uh, I made two threes in a row. So after that, I was like, oh, I, I can actually do this. Once I did that, once I hit the two threes, that's when I, my confidence just, it just shot through the roof. And then from there, that's, I started getting offers like that. I think around sophomore years when I was like, oh, I actually, I actually have a chance to, to keep playing and to, to keep doing what I love. Jeremy quickly became one of the top recruits in California, and the offers came rolling in from some of the top Pac-12 schools, but it took attending just one game at Viejas Arena to lure him to SDSU. I came to the game when we played New Mexico, and we were down 15, and I'm like 15, 16. 16 years old. I hadn't seen a crowd like that ever. So once I saw that, I was telling myself, like, oh, I gotta come here. And then a week before that, I remember a documentary came on about the Fab Five with uh, Coach Fisher and Coach Dutch and all those guys back then. And then I found out that Coach Fisher was the one at San Diego State. So I was like, yeah, I gotta, I got to, I gotta find a way to go there. So what was it like to get the call from the former leaders of the Fab Five? They had called me, told me they wanted to offer me, and I just remember after I got off the phone with them, I was just like, man, like I was just watching the same people that just called me on the phone on TV, and now they're calling me, telling me they want me to be a part of their program. So it's like a dream come true. It's, it's something I never took for granted. Uh, when I was on the court, I, I, was, I, I would try to show that I would do anything for them because they gave me opportunity and they believed in me when a lot of people out there didn't. Hemsley would have success early at San Diego State. One moment, though, was more memorable than the rest. You no know, college experience is like the first game I had in the A.I.S. I remember just feeling overwhelmed. Like, this is, I, I really could not believe that I was there. I couldn't believe that I was hearing my name called in the starting lineup. <laughs> I'm seeing my picture at the top. Hearing people say your name in a crowd is crazy. I, those are all things I just could never imagine. I really, I really never would have thought that would have happened for me ever. Spin move coming in with a running five footer. Good. Oh, he's smooth, this kid, Jeremy Hemsley. Jeremy averaged more than 12 points per game his freshman and sophomore years. He started in 31 of 32 games in 2017, but then there was a change in Jeremy during his junior season. Depression is just something that. It, it takes away who you are, and you don't have the answers to why that's happening. Um, you know, it's hard, it's hard to deal with yourself. I think that's what it is. You, you're avoiding yourself. You're avoiding what's really going on. You're not comfortable with what's going on inside of you. You know, you're ignoring your thoughts. And I, I think I dealt with all of that. I let my thoughts consume me. I didn't ask for help. I, I, tried, I pushed the people away that were close to me and wanted the best for me. Depression left Jeremy in a place of darkness. He doubted nearly everything about his future. There were a lot of doubts. There were doubts whether or not I was good enough to be able to play at this level. I doubted whether or not I could or would be able to finish school because um, being a student athlete is hard. But, um, of course there were doubts, there was, there was doubt, there was fear, there was all type of emotion. To defeat depression, Jeremy looked inside himself and emerged with a smile. I think you got to be able to smile when you've been through some things. Getting out of it, it was just, just figuring out who I was. I've seen that side of me and I don't like that side of me and sometimes 
Some people have a problem with me smiling all the time. Some people don't, but that's just who I am. I want to show people that the bad times don't always last. So that's why I smile. I smile because there's more reasons to smile compared to reasons to frown. I love my smile. I love the fact that my smile could light up a room or, you know, put a smile on the next person's face. As a daily reminder, Jeremy has two words tattooed on his hand. The peace tattoo I have on my finger. I got love tattooed on my, um, on my left hand. And I got peace again on my right hand. Peace is something that I, I try to just radiate out to others. I try to make others feel when they're around me and hopefully it's reciprocated back to me. That's something that's important to me because I feel like there's enough hate in this world. I feel like there's enough judgment. There's enough, you know, there's, there's a lot of wrong in this world. And I think peace and love are, are, are two things that people tend to ignore or tend to not give out to other people. That's something I try to focus on. And that's something I try to preach to my family and my friends to focus on. So that's why I got this tattoo. With all that Jeremy has overcome in his four years at San Diego State, there were times he didn't know if his graduation day would ever come. But now that it's here. As I'm walking across the stage uh, to graduate. Jeremy Hemsley. Yeah! I'm, I'm just gonna be thinking of how thankful I am because uh, a lot of kids don't have this opportunity, a lot of kids couldn't go to college and, and had their education paid for, and I'm thankful for that. So the fact that I'm still here and I have the chance to just keep doing what I love and I was able to pick the school that I wanted to go to. I'm gonna be thinking about all those things. I have no regrets. I have nothing but love for this school, and I'm just, I, I, I can't, I really can't believe that I, like I was able to do the things that I've been able to do. So what's next for Jeremy Hemsley? Obviously, I'm gonna keep doing what I love, keep playing basketball. One of the best things that you can do as a human is to inspire others. So that, that's what I plan on doing. I plan on keep doing what I love. I plan on inspiring others. I plan on taking care of my family, taking care of my loved ones, and just staying true to me.